This creepy-looking natural spectacle occurs every five minutes in the little harbor of Gislev, a fishing village near Trelleborg on the south coast of Sweden. Red algae collects, forming thick clumps that are washed ashore. On the edge, there's the red. The yeah. red of... Uh, it's red algae. Yeah. All red algae. Sten Björk wants to do something about it. He used to export boating equipment. Now that he's retired here to the coast, he wants to turn the pest into a profit maker. So it be, will be possible to use fully for biogas. Although we should have packed it uh, fresh instead of now, because some of the energy has run out of it. But yeah. it's, not, it's a way of proving to you that it's red algae. This plague isn't just bad for fishing. Tourism has also suffered because the red algae are washed up on Sweden's beaches. They make the water murky, not exactly an inviting prospect for swimmers. Like here, for example, on a stretch of beach west of Trelleborg. Even taking a walk can be a pretty unpleasant experience. The period is uh, from uh, middle of July until uh, end of October something. Mm -hmm. And during that period, as long as it's still uh, growing and mm -hmm. coming in, we can collect it. Mm -hmm. And then there's a stuff period uh, during winter time until next summer. Trelleborg is a major terminal for the big Baltic Sea ferries. That makes it a major producer of pollution and of nourishment for the red algae. Sten Björk has now persuaded the liners to dispose of their garbage on land. It's a phenomenon that interests oceanographers all over the world. At a conference at the end of September, they learned that the entire Baltic Sea is in danger of biological collapse. Sten Björk gives lectures on strategies for preventing this. He shows a film that provides a glimpse below the surface and all the way down to the bottom of the Baltic Sea. It had been an overwhelming journey. The film shows how the algae problem will be exacerbated if large wind parks are erected in the water. Fossil limestone and maintenance waste will accumulate around them, providing even more food for the algae to thrive on. What will happen to the Baltic? Much evidence indicates that meat production will continue to expand in the new EU countries. The next day, the scientists are shown a pilot program for a long-term solution. The algae here on southern Sweden's shores is already fermenting. But now that problem can be turned into a source of energy. Close by are the tanks of an old sewage treatment plant. Sten Björk wants to expand his methane generator plant here next year and plans to use the old silos. The project is set to cost almost one and a half million euros, a low price to pay, he says. We will start uh, collecting and using it next summer. And uh, the machinery will be installed during winter time and be ready during May, June next year. Then the algae infested beaches of southern Sweden will help produce lots of biogas and other Baltic Sea countries are likely to follow that example.